ICE CONTINUES MAKING ARRESTS IN NORTH CAROLINA. ERICA STAPLETON FROM OUR SISTER STATION IN GREENSBORO HAS THE LATEST ON WHAT HAPPENED OVER THE WEEKEND. ICE SAYS ABOUT 200 IMMIGRANTS HAVE BEEN DETAINED OVER THIS PAST WEEK IN NORTH CAROLINA. BUT LOCAL IMMIGRANT ADVOCATES SAY IT COULD HAVE BEEN MORE IF THEY DIDN'T INTERVENE. WE'RE TOLD VOLUNTEERS SPENT THEIR TIME TRYING TO TRACK ICE AGENTS AND WARN THEIR NEIGHBORS WHO MIGHT BE FACING DEPORTATION. THEY'RE IN CARS THAT ARE TINTED. Uh, nobody, NOBODY CAN SEE INSIDE THEM. THE MAIN GOAL WAS JUST TO BE ABLE TO KEEP OUR COMMUNITY SAFE. Since December, several new sheriffs in North Carolina, including those in Mecklenburg, Wake, and Forsyth counties, decided to end agreements with ICE for people being held in their detention centers. Because of this, ICE said they'd have a more visible presence in North Carolina. An ICE spokesperson says a majority of the 200 or so arrested had criminal convictions or pending charges, and that their raids are not random or indiscriminate. ICE agents go to specific places looking for specific people. Almost all parents of young children, almost all men who have been working for their employers for a long time, they were all, 100% of them were headed to work early in the morning. Andrew and Willis Gar says with the American uh, Friends Service like Committee is an advocate advocate for immigrants' rights and says many immigrants detained over the past several days were taken to the Alamance County Jail for holding. We reached out to Sheriff Terry Johnson's office who said they could not confirm what ICE agents might be doing, but they did say that they are working on negotiations with ICE. There's just nothing set in stone yet.